Jurgen Klopp announced he will leave Liverpool at the end of the season after 9 years at the club. This means a new era will start very soon, so you will have to make this a success with a new manager. Steven Gerrard played for Liverpool from 1998 to 2015 and is a true club legend, which makes him the perfect manager to follow in Klopp's footsteps in career mode. Of course, Xabi Alonso isn't in the game, otherwise he would be another great option. You can try to recreate his face in career mode though if you do want to use him. The goal of this challenge is to stay at Liverpool for 9 seasons as well, just like Klopp did, and try to win even more trophies than Klopp has won during his period. During Klopp's era, Liverpool managed to win the Champions League once, the Premier League once, the UEFA Super Cup once, the FA Cup once, the Community Shield once and the League Cup once. You have to beat this tally and win every trophy possible at least once. A few rules to follow during this challenge are Start a new era by selling Salah, Van Dijk and Trent Alexander-Arnold as they could also leave Liverpool when Klopp is leaving as well. You have to try and find suitable replacements to fill the boots of these Liverpool legends. Don't sign the likes of Mbappé, Haaland, Vinicius. Junior, Foden, Pedri, Rodri, De Bruyne and such. These will most likely never sign for Liverpool in real life so it would be very unrealistic to sign them in this challenge. Eventually have a youth academy player as the captain of Liverpool. This can be a real player who is currently already in Liverpool's squad and came through their academy or you can find a new player through the youth academy in career mode. If you lose a match against Manchester City or Manchester United then you have to sell one of your starting 11 players in the next transfer window. At least 4 players in your starting 11 have to be English. Sign at least 2 former teammates of Steven Gerrard. If few examples are Jordan Henderson, Luis Suarez, Chaim Sterling, Luis Alberto and Amr Can. As you will have to sell some of your best plays, your squad won't be looking as strong as normal. And as you will have to play 9 seasons in total, you might have to sell some of your older plays in the first few years and find younger replacements. Of course, Liverpool already have some fantastic younger players with Stefan Bajsetic, Ben Doak, Gerald Kwanza, Conor Bradley, Kate Gordon, Harvey Elliott, Ryan Gravenberg, Curtis Jones and Dominic Soberslai. There are also a few good talents out on loan with Fabio Carvalho and Sepp van den Berg who could be useful at at some point in the future. And a few plays I would recommend you to sign are Takafusa Kubo who could be the replacement for Salah. He currently plays at Real Sociedad and has 87 potential. Ben Noah can also be a long term replacement for Salah and he is already at Liverpool of course. The perfect player to replace Van Dijk is Matthijs de Ligt in my opinion. He is not really in the starting 11 for Bayern and is still 23 years of age at the start of a new save and he has 89 potential. But another good Dutch centre back you can sign is Joran Hato. He plays for Ajax and is just 17 years old and he has a massive 88 potential to replace Alex Alexander Arnold, you could sign Jeremy Frimpong from Leverkusen. He is just 22 years of age and has 88 potential as well. Milos Kerkas is a good backup option to Andy Robertson. Kerkas now plays for Bournemouth and he has 85 potential at just 19 years of age. And eventually you will also have to replace Allison. A good goalkeeper to sign in career mode is Guillaume Restes. He is an 18 year old Frenchman and he has 87 potential at just 18 years of age. If you want to have a real striker in your team, then Victor Boniface is a good option in my opinion. He plays for Leverkusen and has 86 potential. Another striker option is Luis Opana who plays for Leipzig. He also has 86 potential and has a massive 93 pace. If you enjoyed this challenge then subscribe to my channel to help me get to 25,000 subscribers and I will see you at the next video.